upload it to YouTube. So, oi, los apuntes, it's 8.20, and the EQ, what are the definite articles in Spanish, and how do they differ from definite articles in English? Primeramente, the very first thing that I want you to do is eso, is this right here. Vamos a escribir right over here, I'm going to put definite article, I'm lazy, so I'm going to abbreviate def art. That's a definite article. If you want to write it out, it's stuff in. And then I'm going to put the word in English, the. The is a definite article in English. We use that word all the time. The teacher talks a lot about the notes. So the, in English, we only have one definite article. In Espanol, in Spanish, they have four definite articles. For me, Espanol, Spanish is a romance language. I cuatro, there are four romance languages. Do you know what they are? Spanish is one. French is one. <laughs> Spanish, English, that place where they eat a lot of pasta. Italy, Italian is one. And that P place. Starts with the P. Portuguese, yes. Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Italian are romance languages, and they have four definite articles. That means they have four ways to say V, which sounds weird to us because we got one and it's V. They have a key, a masculine way. And like I said, I'm floha, so we floha, I'm lazy, I'm an abbreviate. If you want to write masculine, they have a feminine way. That sounds very odd to us in English. In Espanol and in the four Romance languages, everything is assigned as sexo. What's a sexo? Gender. It's a sex. It's a gender. La pluma. It's feminine. See? El relo, your watch. It's masculine. Los zapatos. They're masculine. La nariz. Your nose. It's feminine. Doesn't matter if they're a guy or a girl. All noses are feminine. El pelo. Hair. It's masculine. All nouns are assigned a sexo. In Espanol. Anybody know the masculine way to say the? You do, hopefully. Ale. Thank you. Ale. What's the feminine form? Do we know? La. Look at you. All right. Those are the two right here. Singular forms. L and la are singular. So L is the singular masculine form, and la is the singular feminine form. And then if we have singular, that means we have to have plural también. What's the plural form of L? Los. Yay! What's the feminine form? Lots, okay? So all four of these words, L, La, Los, and Las, they all mean B. And it matters which one you pick. If you pick the wrong one, well, if you have any day, obviously, then you will be wrong. So we got L, La, Los, and Los are the four definite articles. Aquí, right down here. It's right here, son ejemplos. I'm going to put some quick examples. Ejemplos. Chico, chicos, chica, and chicas. What's a chico? That's a boy. Okay. If I want to say the boy, what do I have to put in front of chico? El. Now, you're right, which means you learned something in Espanol Uno, which makes me happy. But how do you know that it's El Chico? Like, if somebody didn't know and they're like, I don't know, how did you know it was El Chico? You had four choices El, La, Los, and Las. How do you know to pick El? It doesn't what? It doesn't have an S, which means it's singular, which knocks us down to the L and La, so how do you know to pick L and not La? Because it ends in an O, and 99.9% .9 of the time in Espanol, if your noun ends in an O, it's masculine, so you're right. El Chico means the boy. Now, Chica, for the girl, which one goes in front of that one? La Chica. Yay, you guys learned some stuff last year. That makes me happy. La Chica. Once again, we saw that it was singular, it was singular, which meant I got to pick between L and La. And we see it ends in an A, which means it's feminina generally. There are some exceptions. So I picked La. 
Now the plural of El Chico would be what? Los Chicos, which would be the boys, or a mixed group of boys and girls, Los Chicos. And what would I do with Chicas? Las Chicas, yes, which would be the girls. Now think what I'm going to do with that. I got a question. There's a Mexican restaurant in Waco that has to do with the Chico. Anybody know what it's called? It's called El Chico's. Has anybody eaten at El Chico's? Does anybody know where El Chico's is? You think you've eaten there? Here's my question. You don't have to write this down. I just have a question. It's called El Chico's. Is that correct grammatically? El Chico's. No. It should either be El Chi. Go, or it shouldn't be L, it should be Los Chicos, all right? It's not even grammatically correct, all right? So when you're eating at El Chicos, you're eating at the boys, technically. That sounds kind of weird. All right, well, oh, the very last thing we're going to do, I want four quick examples. So I'm going to give me a noun. We know a whole bunch of nouns. When we stand up here and do this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Give me one. What? Escuela. All right, let's write it. Escuela. Now here's my question. If I want to say the school, there you go. It's la escuela. Now here in Nuestro Distrito, here in our, in our district, we have lots of schools. So if I want to say these schools, up, what do I do to it? Las escuelas. Okay, and that makes it plural. Now those were feminina, those were feminine. So somebody give me a masculine example. What's a masculine noun? No, you can't change this way low. Lapis is a good one. I like lapis, that's a good one. Give me one that ends in an O. Somebody think of a noun right now that ends in an O. Escritorio, quaderno. Yes, I'm feeling lazy, so I'm going with quaderno, but escritorio is a good one. Quaderno. Senora, you'll see that I'm not the best writer. Quaderno going up the board, all right? So is this one L or is it La? Which one is it? L Quaderno. Now, what would that be, L Quaderno on English? The journal or the notebook, you're right. And if I want to make it plural, I have to change L to Los, and Quaderno has to become Quadernos, all right? So, at Cuatro, there are four definite articles in Spanish. El, la, los, and las. Esos son los apuntes. Now underneath, really quick, this is what I want you to do for me. Uno y dos. One and two. I don't care that you write what I learned. Okay, let's step in. I want you to one quick sentence to summarize what we just did. In English. One quick sentence. Really quick. It doesn't have to be long. It just summarizes everything you just learned in one quick sentence. Do it right now. Just write it down in English. Uh, in English. Quickly. No, I don't care that you write the question. Just write what you learned. And then we're going to read a few of them. 